Hi, this is AD. This is a walkthrough of my Monte Carlo trading simulation. The first thing I want to go through is that I've left the tabs with all the data in. So you can go and look how I've built the sheet, reverse engineer it and play around if you want. You can always download um, a new version, but I recommend saving it and then making a copy if you're going to um, change stuff. So you always have the original. The yellow box are the inputs. If they're not, it's not yellow, then don't change it. So let's have a look at um, a theoretical system. Um, for probability, I'm using one as 100%. So a 50% probability would be 0.5. Uh, average win, let's say it's 1.2. Uh, average loss is minus one, and these are always in R. And R is then represented by a percentage of the account. So let's say we're risking 1% of our account. We lose um, minus 1% on the average loss. And on the average win, we make 1.2. We have a start balance. Let's say we have a small account, 2,000. Average trade per day is 2.5. And let's say we're going to simulate the next 20 days, which is approximately a month. So we press F9. Okay, so over 500 trades, our max drawdown would be 57%, so it's minus 0.57, so that translates into 50% um, minus. The max high is 5,174, so obviously you've got to take your 2,000 starting balance away from these to get uh, returns. Minimum high is 2,211. After 500 trades, the max finish across 50 simulations is 4,964. So, which is 2,964 once you take away the starting balance. The minimum um, finish is 1,972. So, if you take 2,000, actually, across 50 simulations of 500 trades, you could actually, one of them, or at least one of them, because if you look under this, like the starting balance is more than one that's underneath here. It's about three actually finish negative after 500 trades. Across 50 trades, which is what we're simulating for the next month, the max drawdown across 50 simulations is 3%. The max account balance is 2499. The minimum account balance is 1742. So Across the 50 simulations, there's actually about 250 quid dollar drawdown on the account. Max finish is 2499, so 500 quid up on the account over the next month, and the minimum finish is 1919. So you could trade the system, trade it perfectly. And the results between two between 500 quid return and 80 quid loss is actually within statistical probability of just trading the system perfectly just based on the variance in the winners and losers and estimated fin finish dates for the 500 trades are all work worked out on working days taking from the next working day so have a play around with it the spreadsheet will be on the end of the blog post. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I hope it's of help.